Five wagons grope blindly for the path on a starless night, their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale, you among them where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight.
Yeah? Now I am the leader of the group. I'll take a peek. I'm here. Follow me. Yeah! They'll never know I'm here. Eh? I'll lead the way. Let's go! Quickly and quietly. Yeah? I've got this. You're mine. I'll go on ahead. I'm here. Leading the way. Yes? I shall lead us. Let's go. Silence surrounds me. Hmm? I shall lead us. Let's go. My eyes are peeled. Hmm? I've got this. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. Whole areas crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? Touch of the rumbling rot, could be. There's a stinging beetle around here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course, which case you'll be dead in a day. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker, but see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. They grow on a bush that's common around here, kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Nothing you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay, if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. Of Course all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. Got different names for them. Settlers called them in Gwithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. Not if you hurry about your business, and not if the weather holds up. This time of year, rain mostly, and wind. But there's a different kind of wind out here time to time. Hold on, take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot, not like most of this lot, but you drop dead, I don't wanna be looking for the body. Got his Kalisha. Kalisha! He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayadin should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. You heard the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Sure. Anyone need supplies? I've got sundries for sale.
Not looking forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. This is recent. Not good. Let's check by those outcroppings. No problem. This is it.
Hmm? Still waiting on Sparfell, which means he's ignored me again. If I'd known he wanted to slow us down, I'd have just tied him to the back of the wagon. I What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Come on. Sparful, are you all right? Bush. Yeah? We have to get back to camp. Got it.
Get inside! Run! Was that? A Beowick. Had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. And we're the only ones. We can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way, anyway. Let's get further inside. Can you walk? That should be far enough. <sighs> what now? We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Could... could we maybe stay here and rest a few hours? I've lost some blood. It seems quiet off to the left. Might be a place to rest there. I hate to say this, but we can't afford to stay put. Those Glonfaldens were riled about something. Could be we got company in here. Please, I just need to lie down for a while. Maybe you didn't hear me. We are gonna die in here if we don't get moving and get this place figured out before the looters come back. We've either got to find the exit or a damn good place to hide. I... I'll do my best. Huh? Someone else has been here. We should move. Huh?
Wait, do you hear that? Those tiles look suspicious. Let's be careful. Those symbols. Just like the tiles. on the wall. Yeah? Sure. Scout ahead, see what's around the corner. My eyes are peeled. Yeah? Got it. Hmm? Fresh air in here. I think we found an exit. Sounds like the storm passed, too.
Oathbinder, bear witness, and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath, full to his blood's last drop. Guide his soul, queen that was, and regard it among your favored. Let his life by the key be his confession. Let his death by the key be his absolution. May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the oath? Will you take your place beside your brother in the endless esteem of her memory that is without flaw? Huh? Got it. Got it. I could bed down here. <laughs> 